Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about how you can force a user on an M1 Mac to install a major update like Ventura. So generally I email all my users this documentation which shows them how to use the erase install script to update their computer from self-service. And then of course we have this large cohort of users that ignore that email and don't do that. So today I'm going to talk about how we use Jamf Pro and some other uh, scripting to force the user to do this. So here's the erase install script. There'll be a link to this in the comments below. And uh, there's more information about the script there. This is the gold standard. This is why it has 529 stars on GitHub. If you're a Mac admin you're and you're not using this script to do major updates, you're making your job a lot harder. Okay, that script doesn't force users to update, and Nudge doesn't either, especially when it comes to major updates. So that's where the Swift dialog box comes in. So this is just very simple. You upload a package to Jamf, you uh, add this script to Jamf, and then you add your parameters. And so the way I packaged all this together was using the dialog box to let the user know, hey, it's you have to update now. And immediately after they click out of that dialog box, we run a terminal command that forces the erase install update workflow for Ventura to happen on the client device. So that's what's happening here. It's triggering this policy to run. So we'll just review what this policy looks like. We add our package. It's installed to the JSS. Uh, those are install options. That's the version number 27.1. And under files and processes, we have the reinstall argument, the current user argument, and the DEP notify argument. This is scoped to my M1 fleet, and it's available in self-service. That was one of my test max booting. User interaction, nothing there. Okay, so now we go back to policies and we will look at the dialog box configuration. So we're going to click on this and uh, we got our general, it's enabled, categories, utilities, uh, trigger is reoccurring trigger, and execution frequency is once per computer. We, this only needs to happen once because once it's on 13, we're good to go. This is our dialog box package op, uh, value. And then here's our script that's been, and then our script parameters. We'll go ahead and click edit so we can see the full text in parameter number five. So it's just gonna take a little more time here. There we go, control E. And now we'll use our mouse to scroll to the right in this text box to see the rest of that. Parameter eight is the button that says update now. And after the user clicks that, then we go to our files and processes tab. This is the third thing that happens. Jamf policy ID number 328 and, which on my Jamf instance is our erase install workflow. So mm -hmm. let's pull that up again. So we can see how these policies effectively daisy chained to the dialog box. In terms of scope, this will be, once it comes out of testing, it will be scoped to a dynamic group of computers that is pointed to all the computers that are not on Ventura. So here we go. We can see our policy and in the self-service we can see the ID. We can also see that ID in the URL for the policy. And that is how we can use a terminal command to run that policy. 
And this is that terminal command in line nine of this text editor. Jamp policy space dash ID space. In this case, it's three, two, eight, and. And you can see here that I mistyped that. I have two, three, eight, and. So if you're a typo guy like me, always, always copy and paste those things. In any case, that is all I got for you today. I hope that helps get your computers and your fleet up to date on this major update. You're going to have to do it sometime. And when you do, hopefully these tools will help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.